there would be nothing if there wasn't an opposite of it. Like mm. you would not know up if there was no down, right from left, wrong. You would not; those things wouldn't exist if the opposites didn't exist. And so, every and then fi- figuring that out, and then finding balance. You know what I mean? You have to. Then that's that's you're golden there. Hey, girl, you trying to hit this? Oh, you know exactly what I need. Happy Tuesday, guys. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got to find this song. He's leading this podcast. Oh. I like that. Yeah. But are we going to tell people who you are really quick? Uh, this is Ray's friend. This is Ray's friend. I'm Ray's friend. <laughs> and that's all you need to know about him. But don't tell people on this friend. <laughs> yeah. Was it um, Chase Sherwood? <laughs> <laughs> You're his cousin. Yeah. Oh. I'm a uh, long uh, We got cousin Chase up in here. What's his name? Uh, fucking. Everybody thinks that I look just like that fucking dude. dude Neil dude. Armstrong? No, 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 no. The one no. with the ball? No, 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 no. That's Lance. Oh. Neil's yeah. his cousin. They, yeah. Neil has both balls. Who went on the balls. moon? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. With, he went there with both testicles up. And he came down with none. Mm-hmm. He did. <laughs> yeah. How do you think they <laughs> made Rumor the moon? How they made the moon? With balls. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. Oh, is it like just You're like a bunch of, uh... <laughs> If anyone doesn't know, we uh, um we did s- we smoked some cavi. If you can't tell by now, we're all high. Well, some of us. No. Nah. Some of us. Some of us. Some of us. Some of us some just of seem some, high. Some on life. Yeah, high on life. Yeah, high I'm on, high on weed, uh, personally. High on the fact that you have a fight coming up. It'll uh, be this week. We're dropping, so it'll be this Saturday, right? From when this episode drops. Yep. Uh, <laughs> on April 8th, you're fighting Chris Barnett, and you're going to kill it. I am? You don't think you will? Well, no, I didn't know how to fight. Oh, you don't know how to fight? No, I didn't know I had one. Wait, what? I didn't, this is the first me finding out I had Oh, you find never it. heard? <laughs> I just found out. Oh, that's so cool. The UFC just kind of pulls straws and then they don't let you know until the day of. Yeah, he just I, hasn't honestly, read the script that's been yet. the majority of my career. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? He yeah. doesn't look like the, type, the reader this, type. I, we got to let him choose his song because he he's not focusing up. on anything we're saying. I am. I am. <laughs> I'm doing a decent job, right? <laughs> That's Dude, that father. I played, Welcome I played, to um, as- I played this other night and the whole fucking gym was just fucking- Chase is really hot. <laughs> on on, on life. life. On life. <laughs> on I'm life. trying to read this, but there's not enough pictures. Wait. <laughs> Did you and they say Heisel? UFC fighters can't read. <laughs> I, I know. I'm like a fucking human anomaly. Well, you graduated from college too. I feel can, like that's rare for a UFC into the fighter. Goddamn and Mike. from and a guy from Mississippi too. And a that's guy real. from Mississippi. Yeah. Wait, I'm Wait. gonna fix your mic. Yeah, what's wrong? I was gonna say you're the only Miss I Sippy, but it's you're the only ten I see. I got a little wow you're, you're confused. The, you're the only Miss I see. <laughs> you're the only Miss I Sippy, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't. You're the, you're, yeah, you're the only Miss I Sip. I like yeah. having you around because I don't feel as bad about the dumb shit that I say. <laughs> That's, yeah, our whole podcast is a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah. Okay, so today on this episode of Two Girls, One Blunt, we have on Ray and Ray's friend, <laughs> <laughs> Jay Sherman. He's fighting on the UFC ticket April 8th. Make sure to check him out. Um, I know yeah. he's not going to like. Two to seven. Are you going to oh. get us tickets? <laughs> <laughs> Will you get us comp tickets? Please. Can we announce the fights? <laughs> Can we interview you for national Can I get TV? Like a lifetime subscription to OnlyFans? Oh, yeah, you want sure. our OnlyFans? For sure. No, just everybody's. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'll You're hack just, OnlyFans for you right yeah, now. Yeah, we, we'll get our computer science. I don't know what kind of strings y'all it. can pull. I mean, y'all earlier, you're like, we are. <laughs> We're going to a really important party. Well, we'll bleep all and of this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. No, no we are. We we got a good opportunity. We're going to yeah. talk about it on the next episode, though. No, so we don't want to give it away. You no, we talk about it. We want to talk about after. it after we experience yeah. it. Y'all should talk about it right now while I found this song. Booga, booga, booga. What if you just find the it's song? It's the national anthem. <laughs> we're, ten, we're ten minutes in. Yeah. We're ten minutes in, and we haven't found a song. Yo, I played this the other night at the, at the kickboxing. 
Him and his kickboxing class. And no, we was, actually wasn't a kickboxing. We was hitting. We were just all hitting pads. <laughs> actually, I was at the shower. <laughs> and, uh, I was jerking and off. And this actually never even happened. This <laughs> is just me. <laughs> no, it really did. And, bro, the vibe, dude, people wanted to laugh, but they knew. That, they, that this that is the song. song I wish I knew. I know. I yeah. wish I knew. That's what I do. I wish I, I wish I knew what you wanted. I yeah. wish I knew. Here, it's the first one. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, I like this. Oh, bro. And it came on, and, and all the guys started looking at each other like, I'm not going to tell anybody this I is, like this. This is a classic. But, and then it was a, the pads are my like, lover. Oh! <laughs> Everybody's just like, it's secret. Hey, this mic is just like, I just get so excited. It's just flying over it. But everybody was just like, uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. And then, and then you just heard everybody cracking the pads. And just like, oh, it's like I'm in the, the bottom, It honestly bro. feels like I'm in the club We're right now. Club. I like this. Am I on shrooms right now? <laughs> Just go Am I just having a mental breakdown? What? Do you think this, my, this song would go off in Miami if I yes. walked out to it? Yes. I want to walk out to the song from Miami, like, yes. I'm about to fight this song. Yes. This song is da, 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 it's a fucking classic. This, oh. is a, this is some da, 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 Night at the Roxbury shit. This really shit is like, like crack. It. It's good. It's <laughs> look, 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 look. I'm on some black tar here. If you want, if you want I'll, like, for real, I will... You can pay me and I'll follow you around and I'll just play a whole playlist for, to vibe. Wait, for we your have life. to pay you? Wow. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the UFC doesn't pay enough. You better win this fight. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get cable. Cable <laughs> for your kids, right? Kids need cable. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, uh, my parents didn't think so. Oh, me either. I was a PBS kid. We only had cable whenever it was like. Uh, you know, the specials were going on during that month. So you mm. get like a free trial for a month. Folks. Yeah, that's like, smart. Oh, yeah, we get a free trial and then cut that shit out. Hey, yeah, we're going to need it. Uh, we didn't like it. We're going to go. I love round. the resourcefulness. <laughs> I only had cable when my mom paid that month's bill. Yeah. 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 Nice. Oh, some, yeah. some months just bills wouldn't be paid and it was like kind of get, pay a guessing game or what? Yeah. <laughs> it was a guessing game. Hey, you guessing game. <laughs> what am I saying? And then I pee pee poo poo. I'm so I. Ray, did you so, have cable growing game. up? So uh, Ray looks like he had a loving family. We <laughs> met, met his he mother, yeah, 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 who's super like, hot, you know, by the way. Yeah, your uh, mom is hot. Do you think Ray's mom is hot? I think All she's right. a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she is. She is very uh, nice. And she she is the, one of the biggest hearts I've ever. She seems yeah. so sweet. Yeah. She's yeah. a sweetheart. I don't know what happened to Ray. <laughs> so maybe this guy's like, yeah, man, I had a really rough life. I was like, yeah, do you know your dad's name? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, don't even come at me, bro. And then you don't even- <laughs> Do you Wait, know your dad's Jason. name? You don't know your dad's name either? No. Well, no, no, no. Are you gonna f- you're leaving you're her leaving? hanging, though. Oh, is that what come you're Come on, man. So this is a moment here. Oh, that's Can beautiful. Like, like, In the a, a little threesome. So- you like put a little hand on top. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> what? Grab a strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a strong hand. <laughs> you just go in there. Grab hey. my strong. <laughs> hey. You know Classic. Good those movies were like the, that whole era. Oh, you I know what you're about flinch. to. And, I don't remember you were and, about to talk and about. I, and, and, and you remember those movies like I, the scary vividly. Movie? Yeah, remember remember not another teen movie. <laughs> That's such a great movie. It's so fucking what stupid. Movie? Not another teen movie. I feel What's like that? I've seen not that. Not another teen movie. You've never. S- it's with Chris Evans. He- Who's oh, that? Yeah, we should watch were, it. Nobody Captain America. Known who Chris Evans <gasps> Captain was. America. Was. He's we from Boston. We know who Chris Evans is. Yeah. No, but it, when this movie came out, you would not have known who he was. Okay. Oh. Uh, when was it come out? <laughs> we don't 20 know. Twenty years ago. <laughs> Twenty years ago? I don't know. <laughs> About like fifteen. I was four. So, wait, what? I was four. If it came oh, out twenty years I. ago, <laughs> it did come out twenty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> No, no fucking o- not an only up. not an only teen movie. <laughs> not you- another teen. Movie. Oh yeah, not another teen movie. 
Yeah. <laughs> 20 years ago? Yeah, dude, it's old. It's an old film. Holy fuck. Yeah, like, like dude's Where's My Car, like that that era. Wow, that is no, so long. Like, That's 90s. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah like, it was no, like, no, 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 no. Dude's Where's My Car is definitely early 2000s. But not yeah. another teen movie was <laughs> like more like, I don't feel like I, they came out when I was like in middle school, maybe. Maybe. So <laughs> then, like, <I> when <laughs> were you in middle school? Out. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? When I was in middle school? No, how old are you right now? <laughs> yeah, I want to how, know. How old were you when you were 12? <laughs> hey, what age is 12? <laughs> Some of us are different ages in middle school, man. That's very true. Uh, how old are you now? How old am I now? <sighs> I have to think about it, too. Why does it fucking matter? Oh, my God. Are you embarrassed about your age? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Seven yeah, years. Sometimes. Well, I'm not embarrassed about my age. I'm just, in, I'm just my level of maturity, I guess, is what I'm more embarrassed about. I think about. it's important <laughs> to stay childlike as you age. <sighs> yeah, it really is, but most people don't understand that. But we're not okay, so how old are you? God damn, I'm 33. Thank you. Well, That's that only took number. five minutes to you're find 30 out. Three <laughs> years, <laughs> like, you're 33 like, years young. I like That's why you uh, look at it. You're not Thir- even halfway through. People, are, people are living longer. <laughs> Huh? People are living longer. So before, like, you would think life would end at, like, 50s to 60s. And then I feel like back in the day, like, 20 years ago, it was, like, 60s, 70s. Now people are living pretty long. Yeah. I think so you're young. To, That's fucking depressing. And Isn't it? We need to start wanna, killing humans earlier. All of the people who act like adults are miserable. No? You don't think so? Wait, Look what? at the married folk. What? You don't think we need to? I think we need to decrease the age of humans. We're getting too ego. Murder maniac. them? <laughs> <laughs> Once you get above 70, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Murder people. <laughs> we just I mean, that's commit technically genocide. COVID. <laughs> commit genocide. <laughs> that was technically with, COVID. With the fellas. Commit genocide with the fellas. <laughs> okay, our group <laughs> of... Are you a fella? <laughs> He's what like, I can't post this. What are you talking about? Our, so Before our friend I group, uh-huh. we call ourselves the fellas. Do you Who? consider yourself to be a fella? Who? Who? Us three, Victoria, no, Rick, the fellas. the fellas. Victoria and Rick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you met Rick. You actually did meet Rick, remember? Oh, yeah, Rick. Yeah, yeah. Rick the Wait, guy. he the met Boston, Rick? Boston, That's yeah. Oh, yeah. like Victoria was at the Super Bowl friends. party, too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Victoria was at the Super Bowl party. Oh, yeah, that was the brunette, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> All right, so your fight is on Saturday. Hey, let what me are you bring most... it back around to the music real <laughs> quick because I've been trying to say this. We already you, played the You're going to say it in the music? No, 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 no. That, <laughs> like, that song is fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> For real. For real. Like, it that, is. I, that's on my 80s like, electronic that is a great playlist. Song. And it's like the perfect like music for... Let me tell you this. Do you have... Jump and rope. And Caribbean queen. <sighs> Jump and rope and shadow boxing? Yeah. Who's just Caribbean beat? queen? Yeah, music is so synonymous to fighting. How? And rhythm and beats and everything. Oh. Okay. What are your favorite <laughs> songs to fight to? Oh, I don't get to fight to any music. Like shadow so. boxing though? Practicing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yep, I do. <laughs> just depends on what kind of mood I'm in that day. You know what I mean? It you know what's depends. really good to shadow box to? Paramore. <laughs> Who? Paramore. What the, song? The, the, ain't it the, fun? Don't they, they make ain't movies it or fun something? To live in a real world. Oh, well, you have to play oh, it to be able to oh, actually oh, understand. Oh. That's to shadow box to that? I like See, you that. don't understand because she's singing it acoustically, so it doesn't make sense. You have to listen to the actual song. Okay. No, no, no. I well, I was gonna ask if you could shadow box to the song right now. Well, when it comes on, so you can show me like what you. You're mean. the fighter here. You got to show me what to do. Do we have a shadow Remember, boxing you're competition? The that, you're the one that. <laughs> Ray, Ray and I judge. You're the one that said that seven and a, a half. good song to shadow box to. So <laughs> how do you know that? She's a second degree black belt in Ken- Kenbo. So. <sighs> I don't really, I don't really like so to announce take it. That. She doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that what they give? I cancer? just get so proud for you. I'm like a proud mom. Do you not want me to talk about it again? Is it like they give kids? That is it. Why am I okay. even on this podcast? I can't even say anything. Do you want to think about what you just said? Want to redo that? Let's do. Let's rewind thirty seconds. You just literally. 
I had a really good joke and I couldn't get get it, couldn't get it out in the one pass. <laughs> Where are we right now? I'm, tr- I'm trying so hard to find you this song and reconnect the the Bluetooth. Um, all right. Okay. What if everybody? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you see. I don't mind. I could uh. I could go to bed to this song. Just wait, just wait a while. And the big fish in the pond, no more. Are we waiting for the chorus? That's the part? Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, I can see, like, you punch. Hey. I'm a bad puncher. If you, can, if you can dance, then you can shadow box to this. True. It's awesome. That's why I say boxers have. Boxers are the dancers. Oh. <laughs> Oh. When you turn it off, will I sing? <laughs> yeah, good voice, though. Well, that, no, that was that's great. not that's that not nice. a voice. That that's that's end. Chase. So, what were you uh, saying? You were who's there? You could blah, 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 if blah. you could dance, you could shadow box. Yeah, to this song. Oh. So, what do you do when you dance? You find you find the cadence and you find the particular beat to the song that you're going to follow and the rhythm of it and you do it and it's the same way for fighting or shadow boxing okay that makes sense I'm trying to think does of, it mm-hmm. okay yeah so however you would dance to the song is kind of how you would you know what I mean move on your feet like, you know what I mean like rhythm with your head you know, mm. whatever so do you play a song in your head while you're fighting no I don't but that's where you create, that's where, that's where, like, that's why, like, it's called mixed martial. That's why it's martial arts. It's because you're creating, um, you're creating art in a sense right there. You're creating your own rhythm. You're creating your own beat. You're creating your own movement patterns. Because it's you an know art I mean? form. And so if, yeah, and so if my opponent's having to, to dance my dance, then typically he's going to be losing the fight because he's not leading the dance. You understand what I'm saying? No. How it's kind of all synonymous. You had me, and then you lost me. All right, let me read back in real quick. Uh, Come here. <laughs> Get over here. So, like, if you're having to... Oh. Wait, should we just pause it while you eat? Because I can't listen. I'm just going to have one bite. Do you want a bite? No, I totally don't like food. <laughs> I'm Thanks for thinking about us, though. It's really sweet. <laughs> God, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's eating a f- fucking fat Italian that is sub a fat real quick. Sandwich. That is a huge sandwich. That's, That's a big boy. Is that bacon, egg, and cheese? Is that a croissant? It smells like it. Looks phenomenal. Is that avocado? <laughs> hey, She's like, get the great. camera, zoom in on that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we were That's having a, a really fucking perf- sub. <laughs> we were having a really. That's a fucking croissant. If I ever ate one, you know what I mean, brothers? <laughs> God damn. It's all over me. That was intense. <laughs> that was real intense. Wow. You didn't like that? Look at the fucking no, no, moots no, of that. No, 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 no. No, that was good. That was good. It was just intense. Intense. Honestly, yeah. watching good. you eat that's pretty that's good. It's pretty good looking. We were it does look good. Yeah. No, thank you. I know you'd want it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like heaven. It was unreal. What was it? Are you actually? supposed to eat after somebody on the first date? What? Is that, what? Is that appropriate? Are yes. First is this a first date for you guys? Uh, this well, is all for, new for, to me. For, 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 it's a first date for us and for uh, all three of us. Oh, we're having a threesome on our first date? Well, no. I mean, it's just our first time <laughs> we've hung out together. Yeah, you it's lost a, me if you're not a, having a threesome. It's a date. A nice thruple date. Oh, yeah. Plus Ray. I'm yeah, just, but me and Ray have already been on a date together. So yeah. it wouldn't be our first date. No, that's so true. But we we've all been on multiple dates. I don't before. even really know how to approach this thing with this. Is that an egg, or... Jamie? Is that Thank an you egg? For pushing it away from you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, don't chew into the mic. I'll kill myself. Oh, I'm outside. <laughs> chew I'm into the mic. I'm outside. Put don't, the mic in your mouth as you bite the sandwich. <laughs> I think this is so funny. No, that what is that? A bacon, egg, and cheese? What? <laughs> Ray hey, needs a bite so yeah. bad. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I don't all know. right. Just looks good. <laughs> I'm fucking great. Fucking it's so sucks. good. So it's terrible. So you guys fuck on camera? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Jesus before. Christ, Ray, you've seen it. 
I can't. You watch it all the time. <laughs> every night before I go to bed. Right, you're in the video. <laughs> <laughs> a faceless fuck. <laughs> no, no, we've never fucked Ray <laughs> or showed him videos of us having or sex had because sex there are not. Video. Well, actually, that's a lie. I've had sex on video but multiple times. We don't times. sell it. <laughs> yeah, I just keep it for myself. Yeah. Some things are too beautiful to be shared with the world. True. So you share it to, with your friends. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Actually, I don't think like, you've ever seen a sex tape of mine. I don't think you've watched. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh-huh. Hello. Uh-huh. Hello. No, you, you've showed me your sex tape. You've uh-huh. seen my sex tape? You showed it to me. Wh- which one? The one with that. <laughs> We're going to believe that. <laughs> Chase, do you have a sex tape out? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's on OnlyFans right now. My sex tape is usually like, you know, you know, like, yeah. I like red. Red sex tape is pretty cool. What? Yeah, red. What's red? What color is your sex tape? Like the color? Yeah, the tape they use for sex. It's on my phone. Oh, you mean like video? I thought you meant like tape. Like, you know, sex tape. Are you shitting my dick? <laughs> <laughs> You're shitting my dick, aren't you? Oh, so I thought she meant. Red sex tape. I would do a blue sex tape. So you tie people, you tape people up, is what I'm getting from. Get a fucking hog tie going here. All right. Have you ever taken the BDSM test? What? That's a no. That's a no. They have a test. Why would I take? Why was I know, but I've never. I know, but I've never taken it. No. Do you like tying people up? I took rope rescue at the fire department just to learn how to tie different knots. For girls. It's for your imagination. Or if they need Say it somebody with your needs chest. to be rescued, I mean, I, I'm not going to discriminate if it's a guy. If it's or, in bed. Oh yeah, for girls in bed, yes. You'll in, rescue oh, her. No. What? I no. mean, she needs it. He'll tape her up. Are we still high? Are we talking about <laughs> the same thing? No, nah, you're trying to fuck with me because I just fucked with you. I would never fuck with you. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, Do you tie people yeah. up in bed or no, man? Why are you asking me that? I'm just curious. <laughs> That's not what you really originally said, though. What did I say? Well, I said something about taking a rescue, and you was like, oh, for girls? And I was like, well, if I, I'm not discriminating if the person needs rescuing if it's a girl or a guy. Well, look at you being so progressive. <laughs> and right. you're from Mississippi. <laughs> State the Declaration I'm, of Independence. Yeah, I'm, down, I'm out here breaking down barriers, lady. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> With your Wait, fist, because you're a UFC uh, fighter. Whatever works. All right. Okay. Tell us a secret. <laughs> tell us a secret about Ray. Why <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to throw me in the mix? Because <laughs> we're gonna take the pressure off. Of- uh, what is a secret? secret? I don't really. Something we don't know. He's Sometimes nervous. Look how me, nervous man. Ray is. He's he got nervous. nervous. Low key, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Are you blushing? I'm nervous. He's nervous. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good. He's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking this so seriously, Ray. I hope he, you haven't told him too much. Uh, well, I, I think you're thinking, right? I, th- I, I think I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, I, th- I got a couple different things, but I'm not going to probably do you like that. Please don't. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> Tell them how I got here. That's a funny secret. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get here? I, dr- oh, I was driving, but here, Chase That's can funny. tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me tell the story. It's not even that funny. We just it's not funny it. anymore. Yeah, but It was funny when it happened. Yeah, because we almost died. <laughs> yeah. So That's- what happened? Ray just turned down a, a one-way street after swearing to the, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ he was going the right way. <laughs> I've done that before. I literally, before I made the turn, I was like, it's like muscle memory. <laughs> then I made the turn, and it's a straight one way with cars flashing me. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I've done, I have, I've done that in the middle of an intersection on a busy road, mm. like in Boston. That shit's mm. terrifying because then – it's live traffic. People are about to go and you have to start doing like a three point turn to go the other way. Yeah. Then they start screaming, get your car out the road. Yeah. <laughs> That's get exactly your car. And then the like. police come after you and Damn. then you get arrested. And Miami would be fine. Cops don't give a fuck down here. They no. really don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're fucking, they're on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's happened to me before on a motorcycle. What? Going the wrong way? Yeah. Yeah. That's scary. No, I haven't. Well, I mean, I, I was kind of forced to go the wrong way. but By who? Um, idiot drivers. So I was, I was back home in A lot of them. And I was on the highway. <laughs> and I don't know. I was probably doing like 60 or something like that. I don't know. It was on my big bike. And I was going through a green light. And 
it was at an intersection, and I, I saw. I already knew this fucking guy was gonna pull out. You know what I mean? I already knew. So I went ahead and got in the far lane. And this motherfucker pulls out on the right on red. Can you guys and what? <laughs> focus? What? 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 What are we doing? <laughs> These what two we... fucking idiots. Are we... What's, <laughs> going <on>? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you, Emily? <clears throat> oh, okay. Was that your attempt to? to no, you have to watch the video uh, episode yeah, you on YouTube. Make video. sure you're watching this on YouTube to what? find so out what happened. On what? <laughs> Find out what happened on YouTube or what? We'll you know, have to so watch I the video. talk about fucking ramping an intersection with a Harley Davidson and landing on the other side and fucking cars coming at me and I'm having to dodge them and shit. Wow. That's some like Matrix that's shit. Scary. That's terrifying. Yeah, that's awesome story and it's ruined. <laughs> let's <laughs> talk more about dicks. Dicks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Bray's dirty little secrets. Oh. <laughs> No, we no, we don't. I'm need to not talk about that. that. I don't do that to my off people. <laughs> Thank you, Chase. Wow, what a good friend. You probably You're really loyal. thought of like one that was like, man, this one would fucking <laughs> suck. <laughs> if somebody found this shit, I was like, nah, nah I ain't gonna nah, do nah, that. Nah, nah. Well, I can't. But we nah. are your friends. We accept you. Mm. <laughs> he's like, the, wait, aren't we on camera? <laughs> the at home, they they try to get you with that, bro. I feel like that they've said that selling point like four times already. Like, yeah. I know we're talking to you. We're all friends here. We, I know fucking cameras over there as well. Sometimes I forget I, I'm on camera, though. Yeah. That's why you're on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So oh, true. my God. I'm just taking my pants off. I'm like, wait a second. Is there a camcorder in the toilet? <laughs> oh, What's no. Going on? Who put who's, that there? Who's watching me? <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ray. That's nice. the secret. <laughs> That's the secret. Yeah, I planted some cameras in here, guys. <laughs> oh, Damn. Man. Specifically not in the shower. But. <laughs> you know, I I got worried. I got a weird, strong feeling that somebody did plant cameras in here, and I was freaking out. I was like, Emily, people are watching us. I feel that way all the time. I'm literally don't like, you, I, I get so you terrified. Like it. Do you like it? I do no. like it. You don't like it? No, I don't like it. feel like there's like a voyeur or something. No, watching. okay, so I like that in sex. I don't like no, that I, like, in my scratch home. scratch my ass, smell it. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, doing all stupid you shit. I'm live on the black You lick it after you're you are You're like pounding it. your chest. You're like, ooh. <laughs> you're doing like a Native American tribe. Why can she say some nasty shit? And then if I follow up with it, like adding on to you, are like, whoa, that's a little too far. I wasn't saying you were taking it too far. We're supportive no. of you. <laughs> I was just I was asking I know what I said. Who's going too far? Oh, Bear's getting some shit. Bear. Bear, what the fuck? What? Chase, Man, don't you have a cat? Yeah. What's your cat's he, name? We're not pushing him hard. He's look at him. He's a fucking idiot. He doesn't even notice. Wow. You know who he reminds me of? <laughs> are Mickey. Both, are both y'all's cats uh bales? No. no, that's the only guy. Oh, no wonder y'all treat him like shit. <laughs> no, I he's he, we don't treat him like shit. He's, he's a baby. Oh, he's spoiled. Spoiled. Yeah. She was doing 360s with him. Well, he's a child. Have he you? Was like Emily has cuteness. With his tail. Like, you have children. Have you never tossed your kids up in the air and pretended to body slam them on the ground? If so, your kids have no childhood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Emily's just you don't, crazy. You don't get it. Thank you for Peter. your TED talk. <laughs> Emily just gets her kids on the ground. Just <laughs> yep. I just bare knuckle <laughs> box them. Like, ah, is this funny? <laughs> Chase. No, but really, you never played around with your dad and like. <laughs> Sucked his dick a little bit. <laughs> My dad's never around. I'm grateful for that now. <laughs> what a fucking terrible picture to have. <laughs> but quite the same. It's hard to have it in your head when you don't know what the motherfucker looks like. It is like. hard to have it in your <laughs> mouth too. Is it? <laughs> Are we gonna be able to post this? No. <laughs> we're not. We're too. We're we're just high. It's, we there, it's been more, 40 minutes. We haven't said anything. We've said a yeah. lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Chase. Like, what's up? Oh, we got to talk about the fight and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase, yeah, haven't, ha, didn't you do bare knuckle boxing? Look at Ray. Look at him. See, where would y'all be without Ray? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in the I corner. Don't know. It's like, hey, dude, 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 let me in, coach. Let whoa, me whoa, in. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> What would you do with this guy? <laughs> Everybody at home is like, damn, his best friend don't know shit about him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just over here just fucking kicking. Yeah, 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 first, yeah. I, first I had three orange, then I ate one. Now I have two. And a little bit. So you were in Mississippi. Did you start off by boxing goats and shit? Um, what, do you, what do you do there? Why does it? 
that what you think about? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Goats? <laughs> goats and cows and horses. I mean, yeah, we, we got those. <laughs> I mean, we got them down here, too. We got but chickens. I don't live in the, I don't, so like, I mean, yeah, where I live is still a very small area in comparison to where we live here. But uh, I live on the Gulf Coast in Mississippi. Most people don't even know there's a fucking coast of Mississippi. I have no there's clue. a coast I of Mississippi. No <laughs> 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 nine miles long. It's the landmass between New Orleans and Alabama. That's why you kind of sound New Orleans-ish. Yeah, about, I grew up about uh, an hour outside of New Orleans. Oh. East. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Is Mississippi where New Orleans lives? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. New Orleans. That's Louisiana. 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 Okay. That's Idaho. <laughs> okay. That's Idaho. And we Is that Kansas? Weed. New Orleans. What happened to old Orleans? <laughs> <laughs> so true. Where, where the <laughs> so true. <laughs> So, Where is the I, old I think about that All every night. <laughs> yeah. If Donkey Kong is called Donkey Kong, why are there no donkeys? Yeah, you, you guys are from Massachusetts. Well, where's the Lessachusetts? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, right? <laughs> Massachusetts. I'll be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep it going. Anybody have another one? I like playing. I like playing words. Do you like, want to play games? Huh? <laughs> can can I put play, eyelashes like, on your eyes? Love games? <laughs> We put eyelashes on Ray. Yeah, it was fun. He looked really pretty. Can I put eyelashes on you? <laughs> uh, no. Let me put some lipstick on you. Let's dress you yeah. up. Ready? Uh, I took it from my lips. Put on, on this on skirt, lip. dude. Doing what? Lipstick. No. Nah. <laughs> That's okay. not happening. Damn. Yeah, sorry. You're oh. a toughie. I mean. All right, so this fight coming up. Yes. How are you feeling? Are we really going to talk about this right now? <laughs> okay, I have a question. How do you feel about the bi guy who just came out in the UFC after sex tapes got leaked? How do I feel about it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they got released. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I want to hey, see those yeah, shits yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Why did they remove it off the Twitter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's Sun their problem here? <laughs> oh, Wait, who, who was that guy? That was the cat that was behind the betting scandal. That was what. Oh right. yeah. yeah! Wait, what? Yeah, that's another. What's a betting scandal? It's like one of the biggest like federal lawsuits that are going down right now. Yeah. Holy shit! What happened? Ray can tell you all about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to Ray. I bet, I bet Ray can. <laughs> Camera. Action. Let's go, Ray. No, the betting scandal. Uh, I I didn't know it was the same guy who came out as a. Uh, Buy and get, got a shit release or uh, sex tapes released anyway. I wish um, we had a producer a so we could released. confirm it, but we yeah. don't. They did get shit released. Uh, or, I mean, I feel like if you, get your, if you get your <laughs> sex tapes released, you just gotta own it. Like, have a Kim K moment and be like, yeah. That's well, me. I'm pretty sure the guy's literally banned from the UFC now after that scandal. The betting. Not, I mean, yeah, I would make sense. I would, yeah, so apparently this guy had an injury going into the fight and, uh, <sighs> His coach knew about it, and then his coach started betting heavily. So he uh, gave the word to supposedly a lot of a people. lot of a lot a lot of people like heavy heavy gamblers that are in the game, and like heavy money started draining in on the other guy. Like we're talking millions of dollars starts going in on the other guy. So then Vegas just are like, "What the hell? Why is there a large bet?" So immediately there's red flags. Mm -hmm. So they immediately raise the lines up on the other guy out of nowhere. Like an hour before the fight what like he went the lines up mean? like to the point where say he was a negative he was almost negative like a uh, 800 but like if you put 800 dollars down you're risking 800 you win only a hundred dollars if you throw it in so like in other words it's very very like high risk interesting so in other words like it, it doesn't make it an even so uh, uh an even bet would be putting a hundred in and then you win a hundred dollars mm -hmm. so you collect but if i put a hundred dollars i'll only win like Ten dollars or something. Not even, yeah. yeah. Eight dollars. Eight bucks. So Damn. and then it rolls reverse. So if you want to win like, you know, ten K, you're gonna risk like fucking like eighty K for that fight. So how come Wait, it's his what? fault, the fighter guy and not the coach? Well, he was apparently in on it and he they told threw it. Yeah, he Supposedly was he's said, the one who threw, threw it. The fight. Correct. What yeah. if he was he's already hurt. his coach? Huh? What if he was <laughs> stuck in his coach? Well he is by now, so that's uh, skeptical. That's, I see. Damn, uh, dick and money. It'll Get you in. It'll get you every time. Every time. I've been there. Was the sex tape with the coach? 
don't know, man. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> their piles of money that they got from the bed. I didn't watch it. I only watched it 12 times. I just forgot his name. I didn't look at their faces, you know? I don't know anything about it. But how do I feel about it? I mean, great. That's awesome, man. I mean, fuck. I don't care if you're gay or not gay or whatever. You know what I mean? If you're if you if you you're doing what you love, it doesn't fucking matter. As long as you're, you're fucking, with. we're happy we for like you. That. It's like stupid. It's yeah. fucking stupid. But I that's what it, society does. We try to put labels on every single thing so everybody fits in a certain category. Mm-hmm. So there's already division. There's already yes. problems. There's already this and that. But yes. it's like, you're you, you're you, you're, we're not, you're your own fucking people. But we got to make it a gay thing, a bi thing, or whatever kind of thing you want to make it. It's like, I just want to fight. I love it. Wait, so she just asked you a question about the fight, and you were like, "I don't want to." Do we have to talk about this? Oh no! I mean, like, I want to keep like, don't bring in media about like shit that doesn't matter to fighting. It doesn't matter. Like that shit. Shit. The reason it matters is oh, the gay guy. It's a pro. It's like it's really funny because it's like a catch twenty two. It's like you get off that. Like coming out is a, a big deal or mm-hmm. whatever, but it's only a big deal because everybody makes it a big deal. And the people that make it a big deal really are the ones that don't want it to be a big deal because then it's like, it's yeah. just normal. It's normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but okay, well then stop making a fucking big deal about it and it would just be more normal. You know what I mean? I think that's what they do to drive division is Absolutely. everybody makes a big deal about things that don't yeah. need to be made a big deal out of. Yeah. And just, then they pit us against each other. Why don't we just fight people? I really want to Fighting start should be legal. A hundred thousand. I think we should be able to duel people in the streets. You and know, I stand by that. A hundred percent. Bring back the Hunger Games. Yes. Please. No, nah, like I would love hand-to-hand it. combat, a hundred thousand yeah. percent. And you know what I was thinking about one time? I was thinking, I was like, you know, like physical, like violence and, 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 and abuse or whatever the case may be, like, like, or if you would, you know, physically harm somebody versus mm-hmm. if someone does causes emotional trauma or emotional damage or mental health issues, it's far less like taxing on you than than the other. You know what I mean? So like if they allowed like like if motherfucker wanted to be like a bully and like you know like talk about people and cause like them to have depression or any kind of trauma, make it completely fair for somebody to beat the shit out of them, and there yeah. would be less and less of that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like hit if, kids. Yeah. Woo! If you if if, <laughs> if you knew a motherfucker could show up to your house legally <laughs> after you said some dumb ignorant shit, you know, on, you know, line or to somebody's face, mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be, and they beat the shit out of you. My you mom always told me to stop. fight people because she was like, oh, These no. people keep bullying you. You just have to beat them up. And she was like, make sure you beat this girl up in class so <laughs> that everyone watches. And then no one will fuck Send with you. Send a message. Just like prison. Send a yeah. message. Yeah. Uh, Just like prison. This yeah, girl like, was like a big girl. I was like, how do I fight her, mom? And she's like, you got to grab by the legs and get her down. <laughs> I haven't like, been to prison. I'm I've, I've never, I was about I've, to ask. I've never been to prison. Oh. But I, 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 it's the reason In I said country. that is because no, <laughs> well, it was like college football was like that. You know what I mean? Like I was, was like, like prison? Go, well, like you had to make it known that you weren't going to be the team bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially when you're new coming on this. There's squad. a team bitch? Uh, yeah, there's, yeah, a, there's, every a, sports there's a bitch for, for every. Sure. What do you, what you're do just do like, the they bitch. roast the bitch. You're just like, everyone kind of shits on you. Yeah, it's the yeah. shitting of the. The way, like, you know what I mean? Like, things, pe- people think they can get out on you, they can whoop your ass, or whatever the case may be. I feel like I was that person in high school. Like I got bullied. I like in soccer, I had to sit with the coach when we would go on away games to like restaurants after like McDonald's and shit. Oh, and I didn't know how sad. to like stay. I would like stand up for myself, but I just I'm not a fighter. Like I'm a lover, and so it, my mom was like, "Just fucking hit somebody," and I was I, like, "I can't." Yeah, yeah. And I honestly look back and I'm like, "I should have not. I should have hit somebody." But I, I was a pussy. I did, I don't like that statement. I, like. The cliche uh, fighter, not a lover, because both are acts of passion. So, like, whether you're passionate or not, you know what I mean? Like, somebody that is capable of a lot of love is also capable of a lot of violence. Or, so, they're two sides of the same well, coin for you? Yeah, mm-hmm. just, Absolutely. You, yeah, I think that's why I love so hard. On. I'm terrified. The reason I don't fight is because I'm afraid 
of who I'll become because there's a lot of pain and anger and like I would channel something very, very deep in me that I, because I don't oh, practice, yeah, you, I don't know if I could control. Yeah. If so that you'd makes rather sense. Repre- you'd rather suppress it than the, in, 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 in like you gotta, uh, you gotta do the shadow work too. Cause then obviously if you're just, if you, if you're just, you know, taking those those aspects of yourself that you don't want to have to confront or face, then you are have to live with them forever. You know what I mean? No, I, I definitely so, like, do so a that. Lot of shadow people do work. Fight, yeah. Like that's like, and I, that's why like fighting is an outlet for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't ever, I can't tell you last time I've been in a physical altercation outside of the ring or training. You know what I mean? I don't have the need to, to get that pro- out. I want to prove, prove myself yeah. to anybody. You know what I mean? Cause I don't have to. And you fight and enough. Have an there's outlet, there's yeah. definitely a lot of that um, with men who aren't fighters. Like it's you suppressed. see a lot of guys get angry and then it. they get drunk and they fight someone in a bar and yeah. it's like all of That's, the shit that they haven't dealt with, their childhood trauma, the times they felt inferior, it comes out so that they can feel like the man. Yeah. You know well, who we're talking about. Well, it's, it, it, it's you. Too, <laughs> naturally too, men need to feel like men. Yeah. And yeah. men naturally, if you're talking like, on like you know, very like, like you know animalistic type of level like the men naturally want to be dominant you know yeah. meaning they have to feel dominating in some sort of way you know usually or you know able to compete or whatever the case may be they just we just all have that mm-hmm. that that drive that urge you know what i mean whether it's you know in the business era or you know what i mean or field or you know and in, in, in athletics or you know, f- you know, f- combat, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Wherever you excel, that's where you want to excel. Yeah. So men usually, and when they don't have that outlet anymore, then, you know what I mean? They're just angry at the world. Yeah. They lash out at certain times, especially if liquid and incur- uh, liquid courage is involved. Oh, yeah. Yes. I know so many guys will fight at fucking when they're drunk. And I'm like, you, this is not you. There's guys that I know that go out and like, Oh, we're going to get into a fucking fight tonight. There like, are I'm like, girls I'm like, like that this too. dude's never fought in his life. Never has been through anything. Like there's no Maybe. physical training for this kid. It's just, he's going out and just going, Oh, fucking fight. But no. most of them that do go out there and yeah. they, they that need that, they go out there and look for fights and shit. Even if they do get their ass beat, <clears> they just, they just, they still like are excited about it. Yeah, no, it's an adrenaline rush. It's a sick fuck because well, it's not. I don't think it's. I mean, I don't think you should go into public places and start beating the shit out of people. That's not what I'm saying. But I don't think it's like. I don't think it's sick. I don't think it's. I think it's illegal. <laughs> you know, which let me should, lay these, lay these if hands if, on if this. If it's kid. agreed upon by both parties, it shouldn't be. Illegal. No, that's a law. That's a law now in fucking um, Texas. Texas, yeah, oh, of course. Shit. It's Texas like what, what is, is it? Awesome. What is it? What is it called? What's um, the law? It's not stand your ground. That's here. I don't know. But, but can you? It's like a duel. Drunk, it's like a duel you challenge. Can have a duel. No, there's a literal like if like if somebody goes like say Chase and I we don't know each other we bump into each other and he goes what the fuck man and we start saying we'll be like I challenge you to a duel or some bullshit the laws and then the cops show up and then no one gets arrested and you fist, fist, uh, physically fist fight and it's fine. Well, I, I mean, love that. I don't think Texas like, mutual combat law mutual combat, is still it. legal. It means that du- dueling is still legal. It says that any two individuals who feel the need to fight can agree to mutual combat through a signed, verbal, or implied communication and have at it. But it's fists only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fist fight. So you can't fucking elbow somebody in the face? Oh, well, I mean. I would like consider I don't, I don't think fighting. the cops going to come and be like, all right, time out. She used too Elbowed. much. She kicked him too <laughs> yeah. much. That's a yeah. point yeah. deduction yeah. right there. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> hey. that's a misdemeanor hey, right we're gonna, there. We're going to give you five <laughs> minutes. All right, take your time. <laughs> but banging it back, like what you were saying, uh, yeah, I don't think it's sick because you're not, it, it's, it's, not, it's natural. You know what I mean? Wanting to, you, you naturally want to like, like fighting is the oldest sport and form of entertainment mm-hmm. in the world since mm-hmm. you make, it's just it's just the most raw way to compete you know what i mean it's you it's you versus me you know what i mean like, that's terrifying you know that's it i feel it's, like it's, it's it. helpful for men to become fighters or learn how to fight in any capacity mm-hmm. because i feel like that takes a lot of uh controlling your emotions and i, I think, think that's helpful super for anyone in, yeah because we're taught to repress like anger and view it as a bad emotion rather than allowing ourselves to feel it and yeah, if you're feel feeling it. angry you can get it out through a healthy outlet like fighting exactly. everybody no. should learn how exactly. to defend themselves and learn yeah. how to fight. and sometimes exactly. the gym's not enough like sometimes you mm-hmm. do have to hit something 
or someone. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like to to get Me out. Me driving on the way of the highway today, I was like, I really want to rock this guy for <laughs> twenty uh, points. Going, for Chase? going fifty-five in the fucking left oh. lane. Oh, oh. fucking idiot! Uh, yeah. They uh, but yeah, they, you know, like that's a lot of people will be like, you know, y'all are crazy fighting, y'all are crazy, and I'm like, no, the ones in the that are watching, the ones in the seats, you know, <laughs> that, that y'all, y'all are the crazy ones. Because you're suppressing all these natural fucking, uh, you know, things that you want to do, that you know you could do, that you should do. You know that, you know, but everybody tells us it's bad. You know what I mean? And you, and you're, instead you're living vicariously through us. So like you're, who's the sick fucks here? The ones that like the fine entertainment through the violence. That's so true. Or the ones that, that, that are practicing do, a skill. Yeah. The yeah. One, yeah. Well, it's the also one. like people who like are mad at comedians for making a joke and it's like you're uh, still sitting in the audience you're paying uh, me paying to, them to uh, make these jokes so yeah. why the fuck do you care it's like it's like the the you know the drunks at the titty bar they're like you're gonna talk shit about the dancers but you're there spending your last fucking paycheck uh, watch, for watching the dancers for yeah, the dancers yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like who's you know who's the fault? The, the, but that's it, always it's always a projection. And if you don't think like if the nat- if like fighting is natural, like I I tell you if um, we used to always say this, um, he's uh, uh, they would say uh, this promotion I used to fight for when I was first coming up. Uh, you know if 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 we were standing outside and that building was and the building was on fire, and a fucking fist fight broke out right next to it. How many people think it's gonna be watching the fire and then we watching the fight? You know what I mean? That don't tell you where human nature is in yeah. like any aspect. And it, it, I mean, I I like <laughs> I believe if like hand to hand, you know what I mean, like mutual combat was like a, a well known thing, like it used to be, like there'd be a lot less issues. I and think there'd so be a too. lot I think so. There'd too. be a hey, lot Greg. fucking less ignorant <laughs> public opinions just mm. thrown about. Yeah, wow. if you knew you were gonna get hit for saying something. Yeah. Do you remember or, that? Let's start with you. Or acting a certain way. Hey. Look at how sweet Bear is. I got a lot of good friends that are Nazis, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make that we're all, a clip. We're, all, we're, all, we're, all, we're, we're gonna get we're, anti-Semitic we're, people we're, against we're, you. We're, 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 we roll real oh, deep down you. in uh, down the sticks. You know yeah. we're leaving tomorrow, Bear. Can I have some of them chips? <laughs> <laughs> All I ask. Mm, yummy. Is chew them into the mouth. <laughs> I will lose my shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Freak. Help me. I'm, Help me. I had like normal chips in a while. What, what are, Lays? What's your that's favorite? Sour, that's sour cream. What's your onion. favorite kind of chip? Sour cream and onions. Zaps. Yeah. 100% video what? chip. Zaps. What's that? What's a zap? Oh, fuck. I'm going to change your life, girl. <laughs> 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 Zaps. They're, 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 they're like kettle cooked chips oh. from New Orleans, but they sell them in, around here, like at Publix and shit. Oh, we're gonna really? have to try them. What flavor? The the crawl taters and the voodoo ones are are fi- on the gator. Oh shit! I know which ones you're talking about. They're fucking yeah. You're right. They're they are very yeah. good. Really? Really good. Yeah. Holy we're gonna have to shit. try them. I'm a, like I'm I have one. You're doing shows like this. Just have like. A fucking a, a, Lay's a, a, no, Lay's no, no, no. sponsor. No, just a segment. Damn, I'm chewing in the mic. I can hear it. That's <laughs> fucking annoying. Mm. I hate, I hate, I hate oh chewing. yeah. I hate chewing sounds, but I love mouth sounds. Interesting. During like dick suck during sex <laughs> or yeah, yeah, yeah. But any other sound, like if you're slurping on some fucking cereal. I'm initiating mutual hand-to-hand combat. <laughs> right? Now, man. But you like sloppy toppy. Any mouth, any kind of like, like Dick auditorial. Sucking. Oh, like people making out? You know what you should try? You I'm should not try. Gonna, not, no, like people making out. Oh. What mouth sounds? What are you talking about? <laughs> what you, you said you like them, but beep, you don't beep, know what boop, you like? Or, but I'm not like going like beep, listening. Beep, boop, boop. I'm not talking about like going and listening to people make No, out. I mean like when you make out with somebody like that, Noise? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, any right. like any kind of like really mouth sounds. Unless you're burping, I don't know. That's not cool. Or a you're definitely you gotta move the bag of chips out of the camera view because everyone will be blurry. Yeah. Oh, anyways, what I was trying to say about the food. You can have like a little segment of the show, like every show where you just do like a 
a food taste test. I agree. Well, like, I try, agree. Try, try, something like funky. when you get hot, and then you're like, all right, today we're going to try, I don't know, Peter Pan peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that Peter, pa- I Peter, Peter Jiffy, Pan peanut Jiffy's butter. Better. We were thinking Jiffy's of the super better. hot chips, like the, there's yeah. like three chips in different levels, and yeah, yeah. Like Those ghost chili, but my, my but, brain just didn't work. For yeah, a but then you could, but you could do like a little foodie section, and then people start sending you fucking whole meals to try and That's just so give them true. a shout out. That's so true. Look at you. Thanks God for helping damn. us out. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. Now look at me. No. He's like, I just want to do it and come back on so I can get the. Food. I have yeah. all these good ideas. That there's none of the work at the. There's not forward. enough time in the day for all the ideas. <laughs> I just have to. Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, you're a fighter, and you're fighting me. in Miami. No, no, don't you. Like, mm-hmm. that you clearly have work ethic. <laughs> Some yeah. people don't even make it. Yeah. You're right. Most you know, people, don't, most people myself don't make this Some there. more self-love. You, you know should. What? But be I always think about, yourself. like, damn, if I didn't do this or if I didn't do that, I could be here. Like, if I could if I could just be more disciplined in this area, then I could be here. Right? But if you're always focusing on where you could be, you're not grateful for where you're currently at. You can't get ahead till you're grateful yeah. and feel like you earned where you're at. Yep, yep, you know? yep. You gotta, yeah, because then you just you start um, developing. Like right, if you don't believe you deserve to be where you're at, put that literally put it next to your body or on that table oh, or right here, and then you can just reach. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it'll. <clears throat> I think it'll make the. Oh, um, you get, it, we have camera issues because we have no producer checking the cameras. You ever heard of a cognitive dissonance? Yeah. Okay. What so does like that mean? athletes get that a lot too. Like if you be, like, so your brain is wired to protect you, basically. Okay, and so like keep you safe. So what keeping you safe means is it it knows what it knows, and so if you believe from a young age that you aren't like good enough or particularly you know in certain areas or aspects, what will happen is like if if you're perf- doing sports or even in relationships or whatever, like if your um, things are going really well and you're like at a level that you didn't ex- that that you didn't expect to get to and like your brain is you know what i mean like unsure of it's like a non safe space subconsciously you'll uh self sabotage yourself just so you go back into that comfort zone of, i do that we you know, i think a lot of people yeah. listening do that that's why you were like oh you were freaking out about this opportunity i'm like yeah because a year ago a month ago we're like did not see ourselves yet in those rooms. It doesn't you know feel what I mean? real. <clears throat> it doesn't feel real. It feels yeah. like you're like, wait, did I earn this? I know people aren't going to like that I'm here. Like you start like mm-hmm. going into this spiral about what people are going to think and project mm-hmm. on you based mm-hmm. on their own fears and insecurities. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and sometimes yeah. you just have to sit back and be like, you know what? I All that work I did, that's why I'm here. Yeah. It happened. And, yeah. Yeah. and because like, I put I, myself on that path. Yeah. And also say fuck you to other people. Yeah, You, just, just you can't give a fuck in. about other people's opinions. Hey, if you ain't got haters, you need to keep fucking working until you do. You know what I'm saying? Like you earn those motherfuckers. <laughs> they earn. People hate, people hate when they're I mad. love all my haters because uh, for the longest, you know, part of what got me to where I was was um, – you know, I I was coached, you know, I was motivated through through negative reinforcement. And so when, like, you know, some people are more through, for, through positive, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I believe in you or we're counting on you or I, we know you could do this or just speaking a lot of life into them. Uh, that, but that always kind of like gave me added pressure. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but if a motherfucker told me I couldn't do something or I wasn't going to be able to do you something. You wanted to prove him wrong. Yeah, I was going to, yeah. That's exactly what motivated me, I think. Mm. Being, I got told no my whole life. I got mm. things taken away from me and I got bullied. Like, you shouldn't sing. You're not good at it. You're not funny. You're like too much. Like, all of these things. And I was like, or you can't do this. You're not going to be famous. And I'm like, yeah. fuck you. Watch yeah. what will happen. And mm-hmm. all of that, like when I was going through really dark shit, <laughs> yeah. when I was going through really dark shit, that fueled me. The ability to be like, I'm going to prove them mm-hmm. wrong. It was enough to get mm-hmm. me through that mm-hmm. and yep. not give up. And that's and that's what most of my athletic career, like how I was, even through football, like how I was motivated. Mm-hmm. And then after a while... Um, you know, up until when I moved here, um, I realized that's exhausting. It is. It's exhausting. And it's like, I do this because I love it. Okay. You know what I mean? And why am I, if I love something, why am I using all these negative emotions to motivate me? 
that's not doing something I love. It's, it gets exhausting. It's like, oh, now I have to pay attention to the motherfuckers that don't like that me. They want to shit on me all the time. And like, I have to, like, you know what I mean? And you just, it's just shit who wears wants on to, you. Who wants to wake up every day and be motivated by fear and anger and all this other bullshit versus like, I want to wake up and be motivated because I love doing this shit. And so that's when I kind of like, too, for me, I was like, I got to get out of the mindset of like, being addicted and dependent on outcomes and certain outcomes, like finding joy and happiness in like whatever, if I won this fight, I'd be happy. Or if I could just pay this bill, I'd be, whatever the case may be. And just falling back in love with the process. And that's where you find mm-hmm. success. The process okay. is everything. Just like, fuck, now I like, now I don't have to wait to feel good. It's like now, you know. Well, that I'm sounds like, like you're just filling your cup with little things every day. You're finding the joy in the small yeah, yeah. things. It's all gratitude. You said that earlier. Mm-hmm. Gratitude is everything. Yeah, I have a little box. I, I try to. I'm not going to lie. I don't do it every morning, but I try to. Like, first thing in the morning, write what I'm grateful for. Put it in the box. Oh, I, I like love that. that. Yeah, do you look at it at the end of every year? I'm going to pick one out if I can't think of anything to be grateful for that day. I like that. Like, I want to start doing that. Yeah, you should. Thank you. I I usually, so like before I go to bed and when I wake up, I have this routine that I do. um, And so I close my eyes and I start, I list like 10 things. Choking myself. (laughs) Fuck you, Ray. (laughs) Um, I I do that sometimes too. (laughs) But uh, I look at all the cats. It's so cute. Um, I'll list 10 things that I'm grateful for. Some days it's super easy and some days when I'm not feeling good, it's really hard. But then I just start with like simple things. I look around my room. I think about the people in my life. I think about like some, a couple of things and then I'll do 10 things I'm grateful for and say them as if I already have them. So it like programs my mind as if like I'm already in alignment with my goals and what I want. Which it's starting to show. And and it's starting to show and it's crazy. And then it's real. Yeah, and then sometimes I just, uh, I don't know. I think that's a really good way to just stay positive and stay grounded. Cause, Absolutely. Because if you can find the silver lining in something, like, you never have bad days. Even when something really bad happens, mm-hmm. like, there's a there's a beautiful outcome to it. And living life like that makes it so much more enjoyable. Uh, you know what I found enjoyable, too, is, like, after, like, going through, like, so much shit that everybody goes through, like, finally realizing that, like, me getting worked up or like 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 just completely like dissolved by a certain situation like it never has helped the situation never and you and not and in like now it's like when something's like comes at me it's like oh, okay what's gonna be like it's exciting because I'm like what's gonna be the lesson here you know what I mean like what how yes. am I gonna how am I gonna get to grow from this you know yeah what I mean? it gets it's yep. like a game yeah, it's yeah. almost like what level can I get to it's, it's it's here it's all here you know what I'm saying everything's here someone said I forget who it was uh they was talking about life and how it's just all peaks and valleys yeah and then someone was like well I just wish you would just you know just kind of just be a steady line you know what I mean and they're like well you gotta no look one's at gonna it, learn you gotta look at it like a heart rate monitor you if you steady line, you're dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, life oh, is, you're just, shit. But also, if yeah. it's only valleys, you never really are grateful for the valleys because you don't understand the, or you're not grateful for yeah. the mountains because you yeah. don't, you don't you're understand not in the valleys the fall. at all. Yeah. Sometimes you got to experience right, a little rain. Smoke another joint, I could fucking rock y'all's world right oh, now. Oh, please <laughs> do. Please do. I mean, everything is synonymous. You, in that you, sense. you have Every- to experience some rain to uh, enjoy the sunshine. Absolutely. Uh, right. Yeah. Coming in with the Hallmark card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I read that on a card, card once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, everything, everything's, well, we live in a world where it's, it's all, it's a duality. It is. It's, you wouldn't, you, there, it would not be, there would be nothing if there wasn't an opposite of it. Like mm. you would not know up if there was no down, right from left, wrong. You would not, those things wouldn't exist if the opposites didn't exist. And so, Every, and then fi- figuring that out and then finding balance, you know what I mean? You have to, then that's, that's, you're golden there. How Boy. old were you, do you think, when you developed that balance in your life and changed your uh, mindset? Oh, shit. I'm not, I'm not nowhere near being. 
Hey. Tell us, Chase. Still the working? Tell or us, like, Chase. The guru. What was the, what was the turning point? Well, Hop Ed Sherman. <laughs> oh. Can I have a? Uh, oh. Oh, a lighter. Oh shit! Here, I'll light you. Um, Say, give me that shit. Watch this. <laughs> you, you, gir- you girls <laughs> get comfortable. No, 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 no. I'm really not. I'm really not. But uh, you obviously know, just like I do, that being aware of it's the first step. That you know what I mean. Like where you're, you know what I mean, versus having your ego. Mm. you know have you ignorant of all that so what was like a what was the turning point i guess that made you start at least adopting the principles of that mindset like just being more mindful and just like kind of like closer. going down like, yeah like, like oh <clears throat> i don't know it was about <clears throat> shit. those are the weed coughs <clears throat> This isn't weed. This is CBD. Oh, we're smoking CBD. Delta 8. <laughs> That's a bait. Water. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy, stop anyway. eating the fake plants. Yo, she's got, a, she's got um, a fupa. Just a couple years ago, whenever she I does. was... Uh, just like her mama. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, shit just got bad enough a couple years ago, and I was then things just started happening, and I was like, I had to t- stop and just be like, all right, what the fuck is going on? Because a lot of it was all out of my hand, you know what I mean? And the way it was consecutively going on, I was like, Jesus, man, like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And uh, they, you know, they, I'm not here saying I had some great awakening or some shit, but they, you know, there's a TED talk on it. It's like, you know. Um, I'm going to put that down for you. Or pass, rock, it. Rock Just pass bottom, it while you're talking. Yeah, yeah. Rock bottom. Yeah, I was trying to. <laughs> Emily's like, give me it. <laughs> rock bottom is your spiritual awakening. Is, oh, shit. See? Oh, shit. That's a foul. <laughs> Rock bottom. That's the beauty. In your, spiritual, like, like, in your spiritual awakening is two sides of the same door. Like normally you have to hit rock bottom and your ego has to be completely shattered where you realize, okay. Like, okay. Oh. I'm going to have to like, like start over. Like, you know what I mean? I can't do this alone kind of deal. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, shit got bad enough towards like, you know, shit got bad enough towards like, you know, I was kind of at that point. And, uh, just kind of went more inward, you know. That's the beauty in the valleys. Because uh, yeah. now you're like, I think for a lot of people, if you don't get okay. to rock bottom or you don't like recognize it and have that self awareness in rock bottom, uh, you don't have those growth periods. Like sometimes you need shit to hit the fan for you to wake up. Yeah. But it's important to make sure you wake up when it's happening. Don't get don't get stuck in the lows. That's where yeah. the issues come because then you're not learning anything from it. And if you're yeah. constantly looking at what the lessons can be, you can get out of that. And then yeah. you handle shit way easier. Well, it just, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like you're going to hit, you're gonna, eventually there's only so f- low you can go before you're like, all right. I got to fix I, something. I, yeah, or I'm going to just, I just need to end it all. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, like, one of those two things has got to happen, you know what yeah. I mean, eventually. And some people are more hard-headed than others, and life's a patient teacher, you know what I'm saying? It'll keep teaching the same lesson until, will. You, until you learn the material. Yeah. Yep. I'm a hard-headed motherfucker. <laughs> That's why you're a good fighter. And Yeah, and, um, and uh, so I've been taught a lot of the same lessons over and over and over again, and eventually it got to the point where it was like, okay, I see what What's going on? What was one of the lessons you had to learn? Oh, God. The women I chose in my life. That's a big one. I was going to say women. Yeah, a lot of people don't ter- recognize it, but women in your relationship. It's a turning point in a man's life. Mm. Um, and uh, being uh, just more self-aware of like kind of who I am as well. You know what I mean? Like always reflecting, like trying to reflect every day you know what i mean like okay. Okay, seeing what role I, you play in it how could i have been you know like trying to look at it from every perspective that you can but not but not getting to the point where i'm over analyzing everything i fucking do because mm-hmm. i've been that way too before where i'm like i shouldn't say this or shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that and you, like you over analyze yourself and you just kind of and then you're yeah, contributing just figuring, to yeah, it. it's just this is all figuring out a process about who you are you know what i mean and that's that's a it's a that's a cool thing in life you know I love Fuck. that. So what were some of your coping mechanisms that you discovered as you were on this journey? 
Why are you gotta say it all weird like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna make it weird, bro? Yeah, yeah. What like, come on, this journey. What are you, a psychiatrist? Uh, Healing. Uh, yeah. Thank you for coming to Two Girls, One Blunt. Brought to you no. by Chase Sherman. I know, right? <laughs> this guy's fighting. I thought his last name was Sherwood. <laughs> it's Ray's cousin. No, he just Sherwood. has wood. It's Sherman. How do you know? Have you seen it? Yeah. What, is, what else is he covering right now? Where's Nicholas Cage? <laughs> where's Nicholas? Uh, where, where's Nicholas Cage? I got um. Uh, who is that? Betsy that Ross. Bitch. Yeah, I killed. I killed him. Um, yeah. <laughs> coping mechanisms. Oh damn! I don't. That's. The, <laughs> oh, you mean like what were some of my practices like like out, things that you did to help so you, you said uh, fighting helped you outside of titty I was thinking I was thinking when I hear coping mechanisms I obviously automatically go like to negative titties con- connotation oh. like what's there, your I can't tell there's something in your beard or what, your what? mustache where what? no you're good you're good it was oh. the light never mind okay uh, <laughs> just a semen you're it's right. part um, of that croissant from earlier like so some of the things I did to help with like mental health and become more aware of that um, was uh, I started just kind of doing the research on like what what it, so how do we keep our minds healthy like how do we keep our thought process healthy like what are some of the, the you know what I mean things outside of going to you know a therapist or whatever the case may be or using pharmaceutical uh, drugs uh, what are some of the basics you know and the three were you know meditating mm-hmm. reading. And writing in a journal. Yeah. Yep. Those are the big ones. And exercising, I feel like. Well, yeah, that's a. That definitely helps mental health for sure. We preach meditating and journaling a lot on here. Yeah. All those things, I mean, exercise is, I mean, you get a huge it's dopamine. An outlet. dopamine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, the dopamine, dopamine hit. Because I have ADHD, and sometimes we do things for the dopamine hit. But people don't even realize writing your goals and taking action, like, that's the best Dude. dopamine hit. I've looked back at notebooks Natural. when I was, before I was even in sales. And I was like, I'm going to be in sales. And then it was like, I'm going to make $2,000 a year, or $2,000 a month in mm-hmm. sales, like, as commission. Then I'm going to mm-hmm. make 10 and then I'm going to make 15 yeah. 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 And then I had all these goals, like, oh, I'm going to make 150K a year. I had... And it was so cool. Like, I'm going to become a number one sales rep, whatever it was. And I got to see it happen. And when I was writing it down, it seemed so out of this world. And then it, it happened. And it, that dopamine, I'm like, boom, it keeps me excited yeah. to keep going and in love with the process. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what it was. That was, like, that was a key thing. It was like trying to figure out the little, because we're all like geared towards instant gratification. You know what I'm saying? Our brains are fucking fried yeah. mm-hmm. as far as our dopamine receptors go. I can only imagine what it's like for y'all because y'all have to be on social media all the fucking and time. And we have TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is the worst yeah. thing. We for smoke shit, weed shit drains and you. trauma. Yeah. My memory is shot. So like, <laughs> like so those dopamine receptors like are just getting like hits. Every, and so like if you don't do things to like kind of deplete yourself of that and then just naturally build it up then like that's where you see like real issues because dopamine is just a chemical motivator like that's a reward system for achieving a goal okay you know what i mean the bigger the goal the more dopamine we get yeah well we're also you hit dopamine is every time you get on social media and somebody likes you shit or yeah text from somebody yeah it's a drug or Or even like toxic relationships maybe you hit somebody up and they don't answer for a day and then they like hit you back Uh, up and it's that game you play you have to choose though your dopamine source you have to choose if it's toxic or is it going to be healthy like writing your goals and going to the gym and, and whatever yeah, yeah. it is, winning a fight. Or yeah. is it going to be, are you going to focus on... Or is it going to be vaping like us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's always good to have those, those inst- little instant gratifications around, you know what it I mean? Is, because but you that's need why you- it in times you're... you're you know, you're not having, I think having already. a vice, you allowing to, yourself. You have to but, rewire your brain yeah. to not need the instant gratification. And that's and fucking how we hard. Do it through meditation. Yeah. Yeah. Journaling. Meditation. Yeah. And yeah, writing I think it helps like picking one thing to not need instant gratification. So like for my, me, I think being insecure in my past especially about like my looks and my worth with men and mm-hmm. just who I was. Mm-hmm. Um getting like matches on a dating app or having guys in my DMs mm-hmm. or like hearing that I'm pretty, like all yeah. of these like little dopamine things. Yeah. Um fuck, where was I going with that? We were just that causes, instant gratification. That, cause, that causes big problems in relationships because that's why you like like at the beginning of a relationship, 
You know what I'm saying? Like all that. That's when you're like, it's all new. Your fucking yeah. brain is just lit up like oh, a yeah. Christmas tree. Yeah. So I was saying like, I went celibate. Like I stopped going on dates unless someone was like really putting good work in. And I wasn't letting those little things give mm-hmm. me the dopamine. Mm-hmm. And that allowed me to like learn control and willpower. Yeah. yeah. Cause if somebody was giving me attention and I liked them, like I would give it up. And that was uh-huh. like, just dope. It was sat- instant yeah. satisfaction and yeah. it didn't help me as it's a person. Yeah. It didn't, it honestly made me feel worse, yeah. you know, and then being able to be celibate for a while and yep. make yep. different decisions. I'm taking that into other aspects of my life. Like that it's, willpower. You know what, and, and, and that's the thing is like, I've been trying to figure it out. It's kind of like, it's so, uh, <laughs> it seems so like, I don't want to say counterintuitive is, is the right word, but like everything that you like, really want and what's really going to make your you feel good and have like mental health and like have all the things you want and have joy and happiness and it's all about discipline and doing the shit that you know you need to do Mm -hmm. and have to do in order to feel those things in order to accomplish the things you want even though we don't like necessarily want to do them but you have to be disciplined to do it. It's just, and it's what sucks because discipline is usually shit you don't want to do. It's sometimes Never shit you want to do. Sometimes <laughs> too, it's not even discipline. It's people's like a, ability to think that they have to be perfect to start too. Like mm-hmm. they would have the discipline if they were like, well, I'm ready to go and I can get there. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But they have to learn that uh, those, you just those have ones, to start. Those are the ones that don't have the motivation. That's yeah. yeah like well, the, so like sometimes I'd be like, okay, if I'm gonna, I have to do comedy. Uh, Realistically, like, because I haven't been on stage and I'm stopping myself and self sabotaging myself, um, I have to write some jokes. I have to practice what I'm doing, and I keep thinking, oh, I'll go to a mic once I've done that. When in reality, I should just like sign up for the mic and make it happen and just do just it. Do it. Cause now I'm waiting yeah, and it's never like it. happening. Yeah. Well, that part of that is also that you need discipline, but you also mm-hmm. need faith, faith in yourself that you're not going to self sabotage, that you're not going to do these things that you're going to have the discipline. Uh-huh. All of that. Ties and risk. In. You have to have, you know, there's there's a lot so of people much. say high risk, high reward in terms of like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's faith. That's yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. I think a little bit of that. Yeah, for sure. But I think, I mean, we obviously know though. I mean, everybody here can, is pretty much self-made in this room. I don't know, Mr. Mr. Bear guy. He's not self-made. No, I took <laughs> him off. He's a this, nepotism baby. He's a nepo baby. I'm currently watching your cat rub her body on my on my Crocs. Lucy? Oh, Lucy. Harley. No, it's Harley. Harley, yeah, yeah. Harley loves She's, men's shoes. She really She's does. What, uh, notice how all of the girls are out while you guys are here and like rubbing up on you. They, I swear they can smell men's pheromones. They're like, mm. And they don't touch us. They don't get lovey with us. But men come over and they're little whores. So you're <sighs> telling me your whores. cats are horny right now. They're yes. horny. For, they're like, oh, men. They don't even have pussies anymore. <laughs> yeah, we cut those things we out. We cut them out. Oh. You know, they say that pets just usually... <laughs> Reenact everything their what? owners do. So yeah, I rub horny. my face and raise shoes. When he, <laughs> yeah. when he goes to the bathroom, I'm like, mm-hmm. I saw you sniffing. You're like, yeah, 100%. I'm like, new jo- I haven't new smelled Jordans, a man this huh? close. I'm actually oh. just gonna jump up on the arm of your chair right. soon. <laughs> I, was, I was making a really good point right before Ray said something about the cats. You got this. <laughs> you got this. So, Sorry, I'm, this is hilarious. What uh, I'm witnessing. It's hilarious. Fuck, I forget. Wait, what was I talking about? Faith. Motivation. No. Oh, God damn. Do you want me to punch you in the face? Did that help? No, no, no. <laughs> this is why, like, see, partying and fighting. You just, that's why I have to have other mental health practices. <laughs> To make up for that shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't party anymore. No, you sound okay. like very wise, though. You've see, clearly have had to work through a lot of stuff to have that wisdom about fucking, growth, you know? Tons of CTE. Fucking, fucking hard headed is what it would, I would guess call it. Not wise. That's not hard headed. Irish. But I mean, I guess you, when you learn, I guess you gotta, you gotta learn the. Learn. Are you Irish or Scottish? I'm American. <laughs> I'm an American. I'm a fucking red blooded American. I don't know. I mean, I can tell you what 23 me says. I don't know. But I, I, I told you earlier. I don't. I mean, oh, you don't want to label yourself? 
No, I just don't know my dad, so I don't know like where I come oh, from. Oh, did you do Twenty Three and Me? <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's why I want to do Twenty Three and Me because I don't know anything mm-hmm. about my yeah. life because I don't know my dad. I don't know my birth date. I don't. I don't know my, the time I was born. Everyone's like, "What's your family tree?" And I always had to grow up and be like, "What mm-hmm. family?" <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's but that's. I'm trying to be positive right now. It's hard. <laughs> Why is it hard? I think a booger just came out one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on your pillow. Right? We'll zoom in on it. Well, wipe it <laughs> off. Yeah, wow, it's gross. I won't touch it. It's wipe like, it on it's bear. Like <laughs> Do you pick boogers and then eat them? Wait, no. there's a... No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you, you, have, the oppor- you it have the opportunity to, you know, I always looked at it as a way to kind of like... like start your own family tree right there. You're yeah. The, That's what I view it as. You're the roots. And that's one thing I try to do is, um, I don't know, like, like I wanted to make my last name so known that it, you know what I mean? Throughout the generations of, you know, my family, like it, that was the, the, the tone that was set. It so do you feel like you're fighting for your gen- kids? Generations. Absolutely. Fighting for my, absolutely. That's beautiful. I, I, you know, I fight for the, for, for them to, understand to never stop following their dreams you know what i'm saying like don't let society t- tell you and dictate what you're supposed to do with your life like do what you love you know what i mean and that's what's important that's what a leader does they lead by example and most people will see it as oh you know he's being selfish he you know he's not at home with his kids he's out you know ch- chasing his dreams or you know th- this and that or they're t- trying to make you feel that way mm-hmm. Because they knew that you're doing what they should have done a long time ago and why they're living with so much regrets. Because, you know what I mean? If you don't chase your dreams or if you don't really go, uh, you know, I mean, if you don't really go after what, what your what your purpose is, like why you're here, then you live and die with that regret. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And that was, that was the, that's the, we the, the biggest. We have to reset the cameras. That was the, the fuck. Right? <laughs> don't let the subject change or don't let my, Something happened and get interrupted. It's like that's exactly what happens. But anyways, no, it's that, the cameras turn off every thirty minutes. That, I'm sorry. So like that, that, that thought process yeah. is right there. Like being in fear of having like that much regret throughout my life is what has motivated me to get to the point that I'm at. I want to keep continuing that because I don't like I don't ever want to have regret. Okay. I don't want to live with regret and knowing like, yeah. I don't ever want to be that motherfucker that said, well, that could have been me, but this happened or that could have been me. Cause I've seen it on the faces of so many men yes. throughout my life. And I can see it. Like they're just bitter at the fucking world mm-hmm. because they never fucking, they, they, they never did what they know they could have done. Yeah. They never yeah. went for it. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. And they hate mm-hmm. you for doing it. A lot of times you, can you be, see that in Tom do. Brady. They do. A lot of people are hating on him. Oh, he's this old. I'm like, the guy did what he loved and he took a risk and he kept going. Isn't he still playing? No, he just retired. Oh, he just retired? Yeah, but he's a good example for like a, you know, a well-known name that, you know, did that. That took the risk to keep going and had faith in himself that he could perform at a higher higher level. And he led by example with his kids. And also he's showing his kids, like, just like you said, He's showing his kids that he can do whatever he wants and that they can do whatever they want. Well, yeah, there's pros and cons to everything. Yeah. But I was going to say, there's, I saw this TikTok today and it was bringing up how people are, most people are, have fear to be who they are meant to be and live up to their full potential. But it sounds like your fear of definitely my fear. My fear is not living up to my full potential. Like I'm so afraid of like failing and just not being a good person and the best that I can be that I have, I have to keep going. Does that make sense? Like I'm more scared of that than trying. And it makes me more confident and comfortable to show up in rooms. I feel afraid to be in. There's a difference between fear and courage. You can be afraid, but courage is getting over that fear and still going for it. Yeah, hundred percent. You and Ray have been reading the same Hallmark cards. <laughs> <laughs> I used to teach karate and we had to give like life lessons to the kids. That was it. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. So I am a walking Hallmark card. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> you're, a, you're a Hallmark card. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Can I have a sip of your shit. water? Yeah, yeah, sure. 
Oh man, damn. We're dropping some gems today, though. I fucking yeah. love it. Uh, that's the, that's yeah, the, you're that's diving like, in. Cool is like fucking um, conversations. That's I mean, like genuine conversations. Like that's like that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Like those are the podcasts where it's like, all right, don't let's get rid of the bullshit and get down to the to the fucking yeah. The I nitty think we're your favorite podcast. Yeah, you know I mean, like that nitty gritty. Everyone's sitting around smoking fucking you know CBD and shit. Uh, what, like people that are at home watching want to feel like that. You know what I mean? Like oh, I can relate to those them. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. I, can, I watch yeah. the show all day long because that's that's what. You know, we mix like a funny there. stuff and like the bullshit with the yeah. real stuff. Yeah. So some episodes we're just shooting the shit. It's funny. Some yeah. of them is both. And some of them we just get into deep, serious conversations. So I think people will definitely benefit from the conversation. And you know what's cool have. about it too is like, um, even if, like, even if you don't, you know, take everything that you talk about and put it out there you're still like venting in a way, you know, people ain't ever going to see it. Like this is therapy in a sense on some, we're just all still talking. Yeah. It's just therapy. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, we're chopping it up. This is also like how our whole friend group is. I think yeah. we've all like, we'll have fun and we'll go out and we'll do whatever, but we'll also just all sit in the living room like this and just, just have, have deep, deep co- combos yeah. about yeah. how to be better people and how to grow. And it's yeah. really awesome. It's good to have, a, group, to have a friend group like this. Uh, where yeah. you can actually, I, can't, I cannot tell you, bro. How we, much I Ch- Chase and I have some great conversations really? too outside the BS that I we tell should him do. How yeah. It's okay that he's likes boys. <laughs> 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 you know, he tells me if I got, you know, a decent It's okay to, in. yeah, it's okay to, you know, oil check somebody in practice and then sniff your hand after. It's fine. Hey, see, oil he's, he's check. Up in there. He, he's a wrestler. He naturally. Wrestler. <laughs> What's an oil check? You put your hand in there? Butt I don't crack. know. Ask Chase. <laughs> <laughs> Chase, what's an oil check? I've, I've never. When's the last time you got your oil checked? I have to get. That's why I didn't drop down here. My oil, oil check <laughs> hasn't been checked in forever. Oh, so you really need that oil check. <laughs> my oil hasn't for, been for checked in truck, forever for, either. Fuck. For my truck that I drive. <laughs> yeah, I, I drive a Ford F one fifty. So you have a big you're truck. Close. You're close to. I mean, it's that just, means it needs lots of oil. Lots of oil checked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, huh. What were we talking about before that? <laughs> I think, I think we got to move right along. <laughs> huh, huh. Move right along where the conversation takes yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What the fuck is say, happening? I don't, I'm gonna, I can't. I don't. I, <laughs> the cats are going crazy. It's a jungle in here. Yo. How do you feel about having a podcast with cats? Does it make you more comfortable? I mean, it does make me uncomfortable. Does it make you feel like home? Do you miss Mr. Pickles? Man, Aww. Mr. Pickles has been, he's been kind of. A like dick. Been, no, I'm just <laughs> Oh man. No, Mr. Pickles is the man. Come He's a on, good cat. Bro. How old's Mr. Pickles? He's going to see this shit. He's <laughs> He's gonna you're right. We're going to watch I it. I take that together. back. No, no. Fuck you. <laughs> pickles and I are homies. He doesn't like he, pickles because pickles f- fucked his little dog up. No, no, he did. Oh. He fucked Lola up? No, no, he didn't. He, Our cats he, he, he like fucked Lola up too. Yeah. Lola came in there like, woo, 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 you know, fucking bouncing around like a little. Oh, like shit. really excited. Oh, she so was just cute. like, bitch, pop. Ah, <laughs> that's a cat. Pickles yeah. living up to his name. Cats, see, fighting. And then they exert their boundaries. You ever watch, and then the dogs hey, learn. I tell him all the time. Yeah, I'll it's all about learning. I, I tell him all the time. Like, I'll watch my cat, like, how he moves. And, like, like a, striking at a, a, like, you know, like a toy. Or, like, we'll play hot hands on the couch. See you get proud like of him. Oh. Like, and, but I just watch the way they move. And, like, it's exactly how you're supposed to, like, strike. In and fighting. combat sports. Cats are good fighters. It, it's like Cats should be coaches. They're, 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 they, they are, if you pay attention to them. So, like, they, like, when they, like, paw at you or they go to strike something, it's so, it's so, it's so, like, supple. Like, you know what I mean? It's untelegraphed. Supple. Yeah, it's just, like, untelegraphed. You know what I mean? I thought and we weren't just, using two-syllable words. I said three. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I can't count either. The, 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 the cat so, could hit you with a nice ski, supple, skippity pop. Supple's like, you know, fire. It's like one of those ones you don't know, maybe. If it's two. If you say it like kind of real fucked up. Like, Subble. 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 No, Subble. that's just two. Anywhere you look at it, it's two. Subble. <laughs> Subble. A supple punch? Subble. No, but like the way they move. It's, it's so very quick. Yeah, it's not, like, it's not like they're super like jerky or explosive or anything. No. Like You don't ever see it coming. They just move. And that's how you're supposed to strike as a striker or a fighter. You know what I mean? It's just 
effortless, you know, just pop, 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 un- untelegraphed, you know? They're cerebral. So do you like, ever I'm not, like, study Animal them. Planet for fighting techniques? <laughs> Don't do it a koala. His does. fighting career started with him watching Animal Planet. Okay. The world's most extreme or whatever. Did it? Dude, that was a good show. You were watching show. the top 10 that puppies and you were like, I want to be a fighter. Ma fighting. Uh, <laughs> the puppy bowl. <laughs> oh, oh, the puppy bowl was great. The kitten. My first, I think my first, I'm even trying to think about my first fight. How old? I was probably. Hmm. Two. I want to say I was. I really want. I really want to say my first fight was in the first grade. You started young. He had anger. People always ask me like, "What made you choose fighting?" You're like, like "Fighting chose me." <laughs> Damn, I read that Hallmark card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Goes from love to beating people up. Like, sometimes things do choose you. They prepare you for where you're supposed to be, and you know what I mean, who you're supposed to be. Sometimes you don't know how you chose it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just happened. Yeah, like you don't know sometimes why you might like this person or be attracted to that thing or what. You know, you don't you just do. Yeah, sometimes you know, I look at a car and I'm like, wow. Totally drive it. Sure. What? Oh. Wait. What? What were you gonna say? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine I'm a transformer. <laughs> oh. Okay. I know. I literally nice. came out the womb wanting to be famous. Like. Since I could talk, I was like, I'm going to be a star. I don't even know where that came from. I've That's from always, a meme. I've always felt like I was going to, I don't know about That's things. from the heart, Ray. Maybe it's- <laughs> if you were going to have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, shit. I mean, what, you have to have a category because if, if, if we could just pick anything, then I would come up with something really creative that I could use. Well, yes, no, what that, superpower, that's what we want to hear. Not that you want, that you think would choose you. Do you know what I mean? You're I like this. I would end it. up probably mm. with the superpower. I'd be the person that like couldn't like divide into like multiple different people. Okay. <laughs> 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 He's like it's my cool. multiple Wait, personality. But, but multiple, uh, divide as in just you or like other people? No, no, no. It would. Have, I would he has like clones. Was, like you was, clone first yourself. Of all, that was a joke. Like I was trying. Do to you want to put your much. booger? Um, Piece of paper down? No. Paper towel down? saving it for later. Okay. <laughs> mm, yummy. You took the damn chips away from me so fast. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, but you were like, your hand's making too much noise on the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> your eyebrows yeah. are really pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're, Why do you exist? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're blinking loudly. <laughs> yeah, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why do you keep looking at me like that? Because you're just, the guest. It's just I your like, eyes. I feel like, I feel, yeah, I feel, I feel like, yeah, she definitely, I'd be, wait, I'd wake up and you'd be standing over my bed. <laughs> With her big eyes just like looking. Yeah. And then I would Open say, your curtains. we'd make like eye contact and then she would just walk away and not say anything. <laughs> she does do that. But I would be like, well, how does she even get in my fucking house? <laughs> you don't remember giving me the key? Uh, I don't even lock my doors. <laughs> People are like, you don't lock your doors? I'm like, I'm like, nah. It's like, why? And I was like, because I got all these guns I've been waiting to use. <laughs> all right, now tell them where you live. <laughs> yeah, so What's this- your- <laughs> do you want to say something like I'm fighting Chris Barnett today? You did? Say, so I'm going to kick his ass. Yeah, something like that. Y'all would really have me on the show if I said some terrible sh- shit like that. You clearly have not listened to our podcast. I haven't at all. Yeah. I've never watched Damn. any of your podcasts, really. I just was like, y'all seem cool as fuck. I want to come over there and drink your coffee and eat your shit. Lucy, what about us seems cool as fuck? Oh, well, you got this thing going on with your hair and it matches. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, that's good stuff. It is good stuff. And I feel like having a, a sense of like a way of detecting it, like sarcasm and like going back and forth with that type of banner is like a sign of intelligence. It's also hot. So right? Being able fun. to get it is. there. I think you're intelligent in a way. And it's, cre- and it's creative too. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love conversations in general. I think that's like one of uh, I love like getting qu- deep. Qual- quality time is like a love language of mine, and so getting to like, know someone, like being able to have conversations that actually have some sort of substance versus like, oh my god, did you see 
What, what do you think with the bisexual yeah. guy and the fighting? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You didn't like it? No, no, no. It's cool. I mean, that was I was good. I thought it was good. I mean, we were just warming up. That's a good way to get started. So you're saying it was bad? No, what is she doing? Why? Y'all flirting over there? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what time is it? <laughs> I know. I think we do have to cut this off soon. Uh, we do. What time so is that's it? why I asked if you wanted to. Um, I have no idea. It's eleven thirty-five. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Who All right. Ever. So, do we have any? Do you have anything that you want to clip? Do you have any final words? Mm. Yeah, or like a clip that you want to like talk about before we kill you. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. What, you gotta tell me to like. You tr- trying to get me to come off top of like. Right now, something, yeah. something catchy like you. No, we no. Are just, uh, just say where we can find you on social medias, where you're fighting. No, why don't you just tell people where to find me? I don't have to talk about. Like, <laughs> okay, hey, you guys can will find. You, will you please follow me <laughs> at, on Instagram at Chase Sherman UFC? There we go. Okay, so the blue check mark. Chase, <laughs> wait, did you pay for your check mark? No. God damn, girl. You're a poor judge of character if you like just think like to even ask me some silly nonsense. Like Is that, that rude? Of course I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> so Chase is fighting on April 8th at the FTX Arena in Miami Hell against yeah. Chris Barnett. He's going to kick his ass. Wait, you want to know what's really funny? No. Oh. So I followed you and then I followed him and then I went and checked my notifications and it you guys both followed me at the same time. So then I unfollowed both of you, took a screenshot, and I'm going to post that the day of the fight and go, made the best man win. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Because it yeah. looks like you both followed me, and I think it's just really funny. And then we'll post some clips. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Or I should just tell you now that I am Chris <laughs> You're just punching uh, yourself in the face. He's like, just goes, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> like, where'd it come from? Remember that multiple person thing? Yeah, yeah. I want to bring it back to yeah, what yeah. I said before. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got to go. Uh, oh, holy shit. He's been going crazy. The cats oh, are going yeah. crazy. The crowd's going to go crazy on Saturday. Do you, have, do you have an ending button? We're yeah, gonna, like button. I think we're going to be there. I'm going to make right? so yeah. many bitches queef. <laughs> and he's going to win his fight. That too. That's yeah, a cha- clip. Are we doing an after party? Huh? After party? For what? The fight. The win. Bro, there is no after. There's just now. Wow. <laughs> the now Wisdom. party. We're going to the now party. The now party. Okay. Like so Every day is a fucking party. We're going to end this and we're going to do karaoke. For real, for real though, real talk. Off, we're off the thing right there. No, we're, we're still we're recording. Still, we are? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Final wrap up. Okay, okay wait. Look. No, no, I didn't want to be on it. I didn't want to be on it. Okay, can we wrap up and then you can say whatever you want oh, to say? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I thought we already wrapped up. I thought that's what the twinkling was. Not yet. Okay. I done forgot what I was going to say, but I'm going to try to remember it. All right, guys. You know where to find us at Two Girls, One Blunt Pod. You can find me at The Jamie Lee Show. At Loud Emily. You can find Ray at... Um, your mama's house. At your mama's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. At Ray Sherwood. Ray Sherwood uh, one on one. Instagram. Yeah, I think um, Ray Sherwood is like an actual like old guy. Ray, thanks for introducing us to all your friends. Yeah, of course. We love them. <laughs> yeah. Ray's I'm friends. glad we're a one bear big family. Loves your foot. <laughs> the cat's oh, yeah, going. The cat's ham. fucking your yeah, foot. Yeah, you know up. what? I took up for you, little fucker. <laughs> yeah, I told I like, you why did. He just slammed her out on the ground. He's a fighter. Yeah, like, no, yeah, he's a fighter. He doesn't even. What? He also sucks dick. You push him, he doesn't even. Ow! <laughs> All right, on that note, okay, what the bear, fuck? Dude, help, this cat. help, help. <laughs> hey, Steve Irwin's here. I'm gonna, will. We're out, motherfuckers. Crocky, Crocky, I want to wrestle this <laughs> crocodile. Hey, I'm going to stick my hand yeah. inside this shock. <laughs> Next time, I'm fucking coming with pickles. He's going to fuck you up. I, I told cat you to fighting 101. Do you have any last oh, words, there? so I was going to say, are we off? All right, bye, guys. Yeah, bye, you filthy fucking stoners.